Hi, I'm John Twist of University Motors, and today I want to talk about induction heaters. Now, what's an induction heater? Let me show you. Here's the Stromberg carburetor off your 75 through 80 MGB, and here's the induction heater that lies behind it. The induction heater has a coil on the inside that is designed to warm up and warm up the air fuel mixture as it goes into the engine so that fewer unburned hydrocarbons are released to the atmosphere. The first style of induction heater is this, the second style is this, but they both work the same way. Here, this wire that goes to here is green, so he's hot when the key is on, and this wire here passes through a hole in the gasket, often there isn't one, and grounds out. When this bulb falls below a certain temperature, the contacts close and the induction heater warms up. Now let, let me show you with a, a can of ice and alcohol how cold this has to be to actually work. So here's our induction heater that I've soldered some wires to and I want to show you that with this wire hot, as you can see with the test light, that the element on the inside is hot all the way around but it's not hot up here at the ball. So what temperature do we have to cool it to to get that light to come on? Well here's our bulb and here's our thermostat and Danny's going to try to get in here and get the temperature but I want to tell you that we're down here to get my hand out, out of the way help me out here but we're at 20 degrees there we still don't have a light on and this may fall if we waited a little while down to about 15 degrees our light is still not on so how cold does this have to be to work let me show you remember this is Michigan I got lots of salt left over from last winter so we're going to put some salt in here and try to get our alcohol and ice solution to get a little colder Danny may come in here and take a picture remember this is how Dr. Fahrenheit came up with zero by adding ice and alcohol. Oh, look at that. Well, no, that this isn't actually this hasn't come on. This is the uh, continuity that, that that we're picking up from our. Uh, this is the continuity we're picking up from all the salt in the water. Our light still isn't really on. Add some more salt here and stir it up and see if we can get this to uh, to brighten up. Right now, I'm just showing the. Uh, that's in the solution itself. There's so much salt it's scaring the current. Okay, so we got our temperature here down to it looks like 12 degrees, maybe Fahrenheit, maybe uh, awfully close to 10. Before once I got it down to three. Now let me take this out, and we're going to take just our bulb here, and here's our light. See so we can see our light. We're going to put our bulb. Look at that. Okay, the bulb comes on. So. That means that somewhere between about 20 degrees and 10 degrees, this bulb actually works. So that means that it isn't going to work very often in your car, and it really isn't necessary. So let me just uh, show this to you again. Remember that that the uh, induction heater lies to the rear of the carburetor and his goal is to warm up the air fuel mixture as it comes out of the back of the carburetor if it's very very cold and the newer style is this one fitted like to the 1980s anyway that's a little comment about induction heaters there's no uh, no Santa Claus in the pictures today I've done it back in the corner so the guys can't jump around behind me and uh, make foolish little uh, statements anyway thanks very much it's uh, Friday just before Labor Day, so we won't be back on YouTube until at least Tuesday or Wednesday. Thanks a lot. Send us notes and letters. Love to hear from you. Thanks.